Hello there. Hi everyone, in this quick video we're going to be having a chat about the uh, recent announcement that Ubisoft um, will be making a Star Wars game um, and the implication of EA um, games not having exclusive rights to Star Wars games anymore. What does that mean um, on a wider context? So, do you want to kick us off with your thoughts? Yeah, so I think I guess as an initial thought, it's definitely a good thing overall. I think a lot of people are getting a bit bored of some of EA's formula up until... Um, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, I feel like a lot of people had fully written off EA as a, um, as a good developer for Star Wars. Um, but after Jedi Fallen Order, I think a lot of people were sort of reinvigorated um, after Respawn. Uh, did a pretty good job with Fallen Order and potentially has started to set up a, a really good franchise there. Um, but I definitely think nothing can be bad if there's a bit of competition and I think maybe Ubisoft will be able to bring that to the table. Um, as we know now, um, Ubisoft has been confirmed as a uh, developer working on a new Star Wars project, um, which is really exciting. So maybe we can talk a little bit about that and what we think um, Ubisoft is going to do with the IP. Yeah, so there's a there's, there's an implication, obviously, first of all, on not just the fact that it's no longer just EAs um, to, to work with, but also specifically that it's Ubisoft that are making the next one. Um, like them or lump them, um, Ubisoft are a massive developer as well. Um, they have a generally pretty solid track record, even if maybe, you know, some of their series have gone off the boil a little bit. They have a solid track record. They have a good game engine um, and a mechanic that generally does work. Um, so I guess um, on a wider level or on a smaller level to start with, Ubisoft are obviously not a bad choice. Um, and on a wider level, um, the fact that it's open, open up to different, like, you know, input and different styles of making games suggest that there are a few different you know, types of games coming soon for Star Wars. Um, now we already just saw um, what's the <laughs> uh, what's the, fl the 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 one the flying one again? Uh, one? the uh, like Rogue Academy or something, whatever it was um, called. The, uh, the this is like recent one, where it's the Squadron or something. One, yeah, Squadrons. Squadrons. That's the one. Yeah. Um, you know, that's already sort of a, a different. At way out there and even just with cows yes he's a jedi but he's not really like a a full-on yeah and so there's there's now starting we're starting to see some slightly different um options um and styles out there so um maybe that's something that they're thinking is is, is a another way to get back to um expanding the franchise and having you know star wars just be this overarching thing where they might have you know an rts in there or uh, you know another fps and you know could we even see an rpg for example like there's there's different options out there now for star wars and i'd hope to think that means there could be something for every type of star wars fan moving forward yeah so already on the ubisoft website actually we're able to see um, that they're planning to do a story driven open world experience so it uh, kind of implies that it's going to be an rpg um but just in general, an open world Star Wars game is already a bit of a departure from what we've had in the past because I, I think most of them, um, you know, the older RPGs like um, Knights of the Old Republic and whatnot, um, obviously didn't have a full open world. It's, it's sort of set to the different planets and the areas you can go in that planet and that's about it. I mean, that's exactly the same in Jedi Fallen Order, just updated to the modern uh, modern technology, but I think this is sort of implying that a, a full open world So there's going to be some big open areas for you to go around in uh, as a Star Wars character I think that's already a really really big departure and something really good for the series. I think Yeah, and you know, maybe it also means that we're not just going to be lumped in with um, You know um, loot boxes and um, microtransactions and you know extra paid DLCs for everything maybe it, it means that we might actually get a game that feels like it's complete on release sometimes and um, you know that, that that can only be a good thing um, so yeah just general variance on the Star Wars IP rather than sort of seeing the same thing from EA constantly is, is definitely um, nothing but a good thing even if um, you're like us and you might be a little bit um, tired of Ubisoft um, in the recent years I still think it's a good a good choice to, to give another developer a chance to, to do something with Star Wars. Absolutely, and I think, you know, just to, um, I guess, come into land a little bit, um, we won't get too carried away. Um, at the end of the day, Star Wars is still in um, in the hands of, of, of the evil ones, um, overall. Um, so I, I think that 
we know that the developers that are probably going to be going in there are going to have to have the approval from um, Disney um, to, to, in what they're doing. Um, and that, that does mean there's going to be things in there that just to have no place in Star Wars and, you know, not to even mention on the recent controversies surrounding like Gina Carano's um, cancelling and everything else. It just, let's not get our hopes up too much, but hopefully it just means that on, on one hand we at least have some different gaming options um, but I don't think it means that the IP in terms of canon is going in the right direction, though. Yeah, I mean, time will definitely tell. And I think, um, if nothing else, it gives us a good chance to sort of follow on from the success of Jedi Fallen Order. I think that definitely um, reinvigorated the Star Wars IP in gaming. Because um, I think before that, the main thing that people were talking about was all the loot boxes and all the rubbish that EA was sort of forcing with um, the online game. Um, Battlefront 2, I think it is. Um, so I think it's definitely good that it, you know they've brought a new light to the Star Wars IP, first of all, with Jedi Fallen Order, uh, which will definitely start a new franchise. I think they're already well on their way developing Jedi Fallen Order 2. Um, and I think now that we know the IP has been allowed into the hands of Ubisoft and potentially more developers in the future, that's, it can be nothing but a good thing, I think. like It just gives us more opportunity to get games that are really, really good in the Star Wars universe. Yeah, and I think that what I want to see is I want to see um, Disney give it give a game to Rockstar, and I'd like to see the Rockstar effect on a Star Wars game. Yeah, open world, you know, um, edgy humor, and a big map, and mindless, mindless violence. Slaughter. I mean, we could recreate the um, the Anakin and the Youngling scene from um, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, well, you know, there, there, there might be like a fallen Jedi out there that needs to, uh, um, you know, go and get the company of a few Twi'leks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but with that, that's pretty much, I think, all we really have to say on this. We haven't got much info so far, but definitely it's something we'll cover in the future as and when we get more info from Ubisoft especially. Um because it'll be very interesting. Yeah, and we just wanted to get our first thoughts out there. Um, maybe you guys agree, maybe you disagree, maybe you've got some things that you want to add to it. Um, but when we do finally get some games that come out um, fit in Star Wars Universe that aren't EA, um, we can refer back to this video and um, laugh at how wrong we were to be hopeful of yeah, good but, games. <laughs> yeah, but we'll just have to see what the future holds. So um, for now, thanks for watching, guys. And yeah, let us know in the comments what you guys think as well. See ya. May the Force be with you. Goodbye, old friend.